You know, it's cute for me to be on a TV show or in a magazine or whatever, but that's not saving anybody's life. Intersectionality in terms of, you know, every creative practice, even the non-creative, you know, non-creative practices, politics, programming, everything. You need to have different perspectives and you need to acknowledge differences while embracing universalities. That's the funniest story ever. Jill's sister Faith was my camp counselor um, when I was like a kid. Faith like directed me in musicals and all this stuff. We stayed in touch on Facebook. She saw that I moved to New York, you know, was transitioning, acting. She was like, hey Jill, uh, uh, uh. I met Jill. Then Jill wrote a part for me on the show. <laughs> I, I'm really connected to the internet and like Tumblr and Twitter and listening to other trans and gender non-conforming people, like talking to them. Like I stay on Tumblr because like that's where I can talk to other girls like me. People are hurt and people are afraid and people don't know if they're gonna live another day, don't know whether they're gonna be able to find housing, a job, healthcare, you know, it's the best of times right now, but it's also the worst of times. Now that we've sort of laid down the fundamentals, it's time to get down to business and start saving lives and passing legislation. It's cute for me to be on a TV show or in a magazine or whatever, but that's not saving anybody's life.